Hello, future scientists! In Unit 2.4 Filtering, we are going to collect and record observations in tables and diagrams. We are going to use our results to say whether our predictions were correct or not. And also, we are going to do practical work safely. At the end of this lesson, give a big check if you can draw diagrams to show how to separate a mixture of a solid and a liquid, if you can draw clear diagrams, and if you can record your observations in tables and diagrams. Watch these videos to help us understand the lesson better. And these new keywords will help to talk you about science. Filter is an example of a verb that can also be used as a noun. Okay, for example, you can filter a mixture of sand and water using a filter. Filter means an equipment that can be used to separate insoluble solid from liquid filter or to remove solids from liquids. This is a funnel, okay, a cone-shaped piece of equipment that can be used to get liquid or powder into a small opening. A filter paper is a paper with very tiny holes that stay strong when wet. It is often circular. Layer is an amount of material that covers a surface. Okay, so remember all these keywords. I hope you will write down this in your yellow notebook. For our starter activity, look at this boy. He is the same age as you. If this dirty water was all he had to drink, what would he do? You know, this boy lives near this river in Ethiopia who does not have clean running water and cannot easily buy bottled water to drink. What the people could do to make the water clean? Making a filter to clean the water is a good suggestion. But when the water has been filtered, is it safe to drink? Remember that it may still contain germs that could make people ill. The filtered water could be boiled to kill the germs, but collecting the water, filtering, and boiling it are a lot of work. In your learner's book page 53, Filtering Waste Water. Waste water is the polluted form of water after it has been used in a variety of applications, usually leaching, flushing, or washing away waste from our daily activities. Now, large filters like these are used to make waste water clean. The water drips through different layers, meaning an amount of material that covers a surface including rock, gravel, and sand. The different layers filter out different sized pieces of waste. In your learner's book page 53, we are going to make a layered filter. This activity shows you how you can use different layers to make a filter to clean water. Now, we will need some dirty water in a cup, some sand, some gravel, some stones, some cotton wool or fabric, and a large plastic bottle that has been cut in half. So this is a layered filter. There are layers of different materials in the bottle. Each layer covers the material below. Observe the dirty water carefully. What solid pieces can you see here? And how large are they? What size holes will you need to stop the solids going through the filter? And remember, be careful with any sharp edges where the plastic has been cut and do not drink the water. So you will make a filter with different layers that you think will make the water clean. In here, we are going to record observations in tables and diagrams. So in this activity, we can use different layers to make a filter to clean water. When you do this activity at home, please do not drink any of the water in this investigation and to take care of any sharp edges where the plastic bottle have been cut. So what solid pieces can you see? In this activity, the water drips through different layers including rock, gravel, and sand. In this picture, you will see solid pieces like small stones, sand layer, cotton wool layer. And how large are they? Usually large filters like these are used to make waste water clean. So just look at the size of these objects if they will get through the hole or get through the sieve. And what size holes will you need to stop the solids going through the filter? The different layers filter out different size pieces of waste. So we should use cotton wool or a piece of fabric at the bottom of 
the filter to stop any sand or gravel falling through. Filters with large sand layers will be more effective but will let the water through more slowly. Now, how clean the water will be when it comes out? You could draw and label what you predict the water will look like. After filtering, you can draw and label a diagram of the water that comes out and write whether your prediction was correct. Predict how you could change the layers to improve your filter. You should improve your filter and then draw and label your new filter and your new prediction before filtering the dirty water again. You should again draw the water that comes through and record whether your prediction was correct. Okay, so after using your first filter, you should take apart the filter and rinse the materials with clean water. Okay, here you can see wastewater facilities in the UAE. So let's find out how UAE is doing okay, to treat this wastewater. Local municipalities in the UAE are responsible for managing, disposing, and treatment of wastewater. The Abu Dhabi Sewerage Services Company is in charge of collecting and treating wastewater discharge from all residential and commercial customers. The Emirate aims to divert 85% of its waste from dumping grounds by 2018. Why filter water? Water filtration removes water impurities and dangerous contaminants such as chlorine, disinfection by products and heavy metals. It ensures that important minerals such as magnesium, fluoride, calcium, and zinc are retained. When we filter water, it provides clean, healthy water for cooking, drinking, at the convenience of tap water. Also, it protects the body from disease and leads to overall greater health and energy. Also, it provides the healthiest water for children's developing immune systems. Everyone needs water. First, it's important to know the health effects people experience may or may not present themselves immediately. Safe water protects and saves lives. There are charities that help poor communities get clean water. Less people around the world lack access to basic drinking water service than some years ago. But several countries, especially in Africa, still have a way to go to provide their citizens with safe water access. World Water Day celebrates water and raises awareness of the 2.2 billion people living without access to safe water. Okay, To focus on the importance of fresh water, the United Nations marks March 22 every year as World Water Day. Watch this video about Ethiopia water crisis. You know that African countries such as Ethiopia have been facing water shortage, poor sanitation, and lack of access to clean water. Lack of clean water is one of the main problems at rural Ethiopia because unclean water is one of the leading causes of death in their country. Now, how could you make a better filter? We are going to make a layered filter. We can use different layers to make a filter to clean water. Would your filter work better with a different fabric, more sand or more gravel? Sand and gravel make good water filters because they form permeable layers. When the sand particles are next to one another, there are tiny spaces between them. Water can pass slowly through these tiny spaces and some of the dirt particles get trapped. What would make your filter better, okay? So like filters with large sand layers will be more effective but will let the water through more slowly. Now, research time. So this time, research where to find water that is safe to drink in your local area. Now something to think about. How do you keep your drinking water clean at home? Boil water. If you do not have bottled water, Boil it, okay? Boiling is sufficient to kill pathogenic bacteria, viruses, and parasites. Some of these bacteria can make us ill. We call these harmful bacteria germs. But you should only drink water that you have been told is safe by adults. If your tap water is safe to drink, refilling bottles from the tap water is better for the environment than buying new ones. If your tap water is not safe to drink, buying water in larger containers uses less plastic and that they can refill smaller bottles from the larger. Okay, let's 
reduce the use of plastic by buying less bottled water and drink tap water instead. Thank you so much, future scientists. You are all very good.